not many times you're going to get to be the, the launch program for a brand new network. And not like a tiny network, but what's going to be a major network. Uh, I don't think it'll happen that many times or it's ever happened that many times. Um, it's also an advantage in that most networks have some kind of house style that's already established in a way. We're getting to be the ones who establish that house style, or along with you know their terrific show Manhattan, get to show the kinds of things they're going to do. Also, the other thing that was a great advantage was that they didn't have an audience base they so much already had to have. They wanted something that was just going to get found and noticed. And so to that end, they were really happy to let us go really far out there. And in fact, always encouraged us to go farther. We knew where we were going with all of the characters, and we knew how the season would end. Um, I think as with any new show, especially one as kind of unpredictable as this one, it took us a few episodes to figure out, well, I don't want to say what, compri what the formula for an episode is, because they're, they're all kind of different. Um, and uh, so I think out of the 13 we did last year, most of them were successful, but there were a couple that we struggled a little with the storylines, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think the challenge with Salem from the get-go uh, as we've been talking about, was to kind of explode that and to put the kind of complicated, raucous female anti-heroes up there and throw those out there with the same intensity that we're used to seeing complicated, dissolute men. But I think that's been a challenge to a lot, not least to a lot of male viewers. Did you get the response from your female viewers that you guys hoped for? I think so. I mean, I think they've been quite rabid about it. I mean, it's definitely a show for guys, too. It's, you know, it was created by two guys, and it's got all of that in it. But, yeah, I think, in fact, it's really been taken to heart by a lot of women who have never gotten to see their anti-heroes, have never gotten to see, really, their badass characters, other than, you know, in certain very restricted areas. So, mm -hmm. no, I think it really kind of, that's one of the reasons it caught fire, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, although we draw on history for some of our supernatural imagery and some amalgamations of characters and some storylines, this is not the History Channel. We have no aspirations to be historically accurate. This is not a commentary on what really happened. This, it does deal with themes of female oppression and empowerment, for sure. I think in the best possible way, just a different way. Uh, those criticisms to me were ridiculous. We don't take on any responsibility to tell the history as it was. That's for the historians to do any more than I think, you know, uh, someone telling a King Arthur story is really trying to tell you what pre-Roman Britain was like. It's tricky because this is a very incendiary time in our history that has meant a lot to us and has been used as a metaphor for a lot of other things. I would remind people of a couple of things. A, we agree with the official history. The people who were killed in Salem were innocent. We are both on a literal level and a metaphoric level saying, yeah, but the witches are the ones who are killing them. Mm -hmm. um, but we're having fun with that. There's a lot of new relationships forming between the regulars this year. You're going to see characters who weren't together a lot necessarily, like Anne and Mary. You know, Anne's a, a witch now, and she needs a mentor. Right. And Mary can either kill her or she can make teach her the ways. And they, they didn't have any scenes together. They had one scene in the pilot. That was it, mm -hmm. which is weird. But in season... Two, they have a real relationship, and it's very tense and very interesting. And the same will be with certain other characters. And we have new characters, obviously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, it's a little intimidating because everyone knows Lucy, and it's like she was a warrior princess. I'm like, all right, guys, I like, wasn't whatever. Born there. Like, yeah. I was born there. Everyone, I know Xena. Come on, everyone knows Xena. 